Who can survive at Acme Industries? A reality sensation by the Pom Poms. Big changes are coming to the Acme factory. Who will survive and who will be left behind? Our pitch. Acme Industries is a leading supplier of wacky devices, specifically competing in the Roadrunner pursuit market. Recently, a popular supervisor has retired, and the CEO has brought in a new factory manager to run a tighter ship and improve product quality. Watch the complete season to find out who cries, who breaks the rules, and who's left standing. Meet our characters. Skip. Gary, Jim, Laura, and Rachel. Meet Skip. He's the newest manager at Atme, and he's managed a restaurant for over 15 years prior. He used a firm, disciplined approach to make the restaurant profitable. But will that management style work at Atme? Skip believes in putting the mission of a company before everything, and he expects the same from his employees. He has a big reputation and an ego to go to match. Will he learn how to change his style to achieve results? How Skip relates to management concepts. Skip will use effective and non-effective management techniques to attempt to implement significant, significant change at Acme. His learning curve will demonstrate important management concepts. He must analyze the work ethic, ru rules, job design, and culture within the factory, and find out where productivity and quality improvements can be made. He will have to show strong leadership skills to achieve these changes. Skip will play a key role in translating executive strategic di direction into tactical operations management. Meet Gary. He is the Acme founder and CEO. CEO. He's, proud. He's a proud and competitive exec executive. He's looking for big improvements and quick. He's a bottom line, show me results kind of guy. Will Gary be pleased with Skip's results or cut him loose? How Gary relates to management concepts. He's responsible for leading the overall organization and setting strategic goals for the company. He monitors the external environment, including competitors and market share and sets strategic direction accordingly. He controls and monitors the overall productivity of the company, of the factory, from metrics and reports from his manager, as opposed to getting out on the production floor himself. Meet Jim. He's a mild-mannered, mid-level supervisor who's friendly with everyone. He believes in, in, taking things, in talking things out, and that a happy employee is a productive employee. He's not the confrontational kind of guy. He, he's often believed to be a pushover. He's excited to welcome Skip to Acme, however. Will Jim's idea to empower employees work? How Jim relates to management concepts. Jim will demonstrate the strategy and action method, the process of thinking, planning, delivering, and reviewing. His storyline will reveal the influence that the factory floor workers can have on other employees, especially Laura and Rachel. Jim believes that the most important resource Atme has is its employees. Meet Laura. Employed by the Atme factory for over 10 years and is very influential among her coworkers. She's seen a lot of frontline managers come and go. She doesn't pay much attention when they try to change things. Laura knows how to get the job done well enough, but finds it pretty boring and gets distracted by socializing with coworkers. She makes fun of everything, especially the Acme company and the managers. Will Laura accept the challenge to be team leader and influence her coworkers to change? We'll see. How Laura relates to company concepts. Laura is an employee on the factory shop floor so she's responsible for performing tasks that management has designed, which are needed to achieve the company's larger goals. She has no official authority, but she has a lot of reverent power, which her immediate coworkers, that is, she influences them 
and is accepted as their role model. Getting Loretta to change will be key in getting the rest of the team to change because they will most definitely follow her lead. With Laura, management will have the opportunity to delegate some decision making, capitalize on her leadership abilities, and enlarge her job responsibility to team leaders. Meet Rachel. She has worked at Acme for almost as long as Laura, and they're pretty close. She's often found making jokes and keeping everyone laughing. She doesn't care or understand much about business concepts and strategies. She has little regard for her work. She does and does not. She does and she does not take pride in the company or the product she or the products she, she produces. Will Rachel survive the changes at Acme, or will she? Or will she outlast Skip? How Rachel relates to management concepts. Rachel will embody a personnel challenge that many happen. That may happen to any manager. Rachel is a follower and has become content with that. She looks up to Laura but is not as willing to change. She will reject being empowered with more decision making. And she'll be left behind. Episode guide. Episodes and related concepts. Episode one, decision making and planning. Skip has been offered the factory management position at Atme and must decide whether to accept or relocate and relocate to another state. He and his wife use a five-step decision-making process to figure things out. They have to decide if taking this job is the best thing for them, for them and their children. They have to decide ultimately if they're going to, if, if Skip is going to take the job and move to Florida. Skip must now plan his move and prepare for a new adventure. Skip and his wife ultimately decide that they are going to take the job and move the entire family to Florida. Episode 2. This episode involves planning, communication, formalization, unity of command, strategic goals, competitive edge, achieving goals through people, change in management, performance management, and job structure. Skip is preparing for his first day and the ideas he wants to bring to Atme just keeps flowing in. He meets with Gary, the CEO, and he learns more about the role he'll be stepping into. And he he presents um, the CEO with all the rules and the disciplines and everything he'll bring to the table. And he's presented with a challenge um, by the CEO to support Acme's strategic mission to improve quality within four months. Skip is so confident he assures the CEO he's up for the challenge and he will make big changes to achieve the quality standards in no time. They are at work in the factory bright and early already talking and laughing and just having a good old time. Other workers start to show up and Laura and Rachel are discussing what they think the new manager is going to be like. They think the previous manager is great, and they don't plan on changing anything based on this new manager. They have their own way of doing things. Episode 4. This involves leadership and use of power. That is coercive power. Emotional maturity, inspirational appeal, consultation, and empowerment. Skip takes a walk through the factory and observes the workers. Rachel is away from her station using her cell phone. Laura is standing by the machine with her, with the other workers just laughing and having a good old time. Skip knows something has to be done and quickly. He introduces himself to the group and they are clearly displeased. Jim enters and sees that his group has made a bad first impression on Skip. Good morning, Jim. We need to talk. Dum, dum, dum. The team mocks Jim and Skip after they leave. This will be a difficult group to change. Episode 4 continued. Jim meets with Skip in his office to discuss what has happened. Skip seeks clarification 
as to whether or not they were on the same page in terms of achieving set goals. He tells Jim about the changes he's directed to implement in order to improve product quality. And Jim insists that change happen immediately and gives Jim his new directives. The workers react badly to Skip's new approach and walk off the job. Skip soon realizes that what he has done is not working. He takes Jim's suggestion that Laura and Rachel are the key to getting other workers to accept the changes and decides to, con to consult with them. Skip tries to get them to understand the goals that have been set and the importance of having quality products. Skip acknowledges their importance to the company and asks them to work with him in accomplishing the goals he has set for Acme. Laura's clearly taken aback by this, and she's open to what he has to say. Rachel, on the other hand, she's not so interested. Skip notices this and decides to invest more in Laura. Rachel sees Laura changing and begins to accept the new rules and structure, and so does the rest of the line. Team Morale gets to an all-time high, and Skip, with the support of his team, were achieving set goals. Atme begins to thrive and grow as Skip and his team work together. Episode 5. Jim meets with Skip in his office to discuss their progress. The two of them discuss what worked and what didn't and how they were able to meet the CEO's goals. Skip reports his productivity and quality metrics to Gary, who tells him the larger effect these improvements will have on the company as well. Okay, so at the final end of episode five, Skip meets with, meets with Laura, and he tells her how important of a role she played in the company meeting its goals. Laura is clearly appreciative of the praise and feedback about her performance. She has a whole new approach to taking pride in her job and influencing her team. Stay tuned for more. A presentation by Team Pom Pom.